Welcome to the Cubase 7.5 New Features video from Steinberg. We're going to briefly cover all of the brilliant new features in Cubase 7.5, and there are plenty of them to explore. So let's get right to it. Let's start by taking a look at the new Track Versions feature in Cubase 7.5. Track Versions is a great new way to create and manage multiple versions of data on the same track without the need for creating any duplicate tracks. For instance, Let's say that the producer and the drummer have a disagreement on which one of two drum fills fits in best at the beginning of a song. The old way of solving this problem would be to copy the bulk of the drum parts over to a new pile of tracks, then delete the fill at the beginning on the one set of tracks, and then proceed to record the alternate drum fill like so. Then when you're done recording the take, all you have to do is mute the different takes for a side-by-side -side comparison. Not only is it messy, but it takes up a bunch of processing power depending on what kind of effects, reverbs, and EQs you might have on your selected channels. Well, now let's look at the same example using track versions. Here we have a drum take with the drum fill that the producer thinks is good enough for the song and wants to keep it, but the drummer has a different idea in mind. Track versions offers a simple and elegant solution without wasting valuable processing resources like screen space or time. Select your drum tracks, right-click, and choose Move Selected Tracks to New Folder. Now click on the Equal Sign icon to enable group editing. Under the Track Versions drop-down menu, select Duplicate Version. Now we can fearlessly put aside the original fill and have our drummer play the new version. Now with a simple selection of the track version, all of the fill parts are changed at once without the need for any extra tracks. Now we can rename our track versions to easily distinguish the takes from each other. Now this was kind of a more advanced way of using track versions. There are so many ways to use this feature. Not only does it work on audio tracks, but it also works on MIDI tracks, instrument tracks, chord tracks, tempo tracks, and signature tracks. To start using track versions in its most simple form, start with an empty sheet on a new track and start recording a take. Now when you hover over the track name, you will see a drop-down indicator letting you know that this type of track can use the track versions feature. Select New Version and try another take. Now let's say after auditioning the different takes, you decide that the first take is pretty much the best, except for that part at the end. You can simply copy or cut the material from the one take and paste it to the other take after removing the unwanted material. This can also be useful if you're doing an alternate version of the lyrics for a song in, let's say, a clean version of a song for radio play. This way you can make changes in your mix right down to the last second before a mix down, and with a quick switch, you're doing two completely different versions of the mix down. Not bad. You'll notice when using track versions that track versions is now highlighted in the inspector. By clicking on the track versions tab, we see that we have some of the same functions that we just looked at, except here we can quickly rename our track versions with a quick double click and switch between them with a single click. Each view of the track versions controls have their benefits. For instance, under the project menu, we see that we can convert our track versions to lanes for editing with the comping tool. Or inversely, we can turn a set of lanes into track versions here as well. From here, you can also choose to flip back and forth between the track versions, or without entering this menu, simply press Ctrl-Shift-H and Ctrl-Shift-G on your keyboard for fast switching. Another very useful component of track versions is the ability to set a common version ID to a set of tracks you're working on. So if let's say we're working on a project and want to know which tracks are from the same track version, we can easily identify them for editing. In any given setup, we can select the tracks and choose Assign Common Version ID under the Project menu. 
So if we make any further track version choices and want to know which ones are from the same version, you can choose Select Track with Same Version ID, and Cubase will automatically select all of the tracks that have the same version ID as the track you're currently working on, not necessarily the one that's highlighted. There's more on track versions in the product launch videos, and of course there's more in the user manual that you can find under the Help menu. But what's more important to take away from this is that there are many different ways to use track versions on many different track types. Start playing with track versions today and see what uses you can come up with for this incredibly powerful new feature.